Oh, you've crushed my cream horn. I'm Thomas Wrinklesmooth, and after one of my YouTube videos in which I claimed the Bluetooth attracts bees was blocked for misinformation, I started this investigation into censorship and cancel culture. Do, 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 do. On today's episode, I'm talking to the real victims of cancel culture, so get ready to feel quite sad. Well, I'm a writer of fantasy novels and I've been cancelled for supposed homophobia. But my accusers forget that one of my greatest characters was gay, Bruce, the magical hairdresser. It's not acknowledged directly in the books, but all the signs are there. The way he smiles when he encounters the flamboyant goblin, the rainbow flags we glimpse in his dreams, and the enchanted male sex doll under his desk. And there are many other characters whose sexual preferences are never mentioned because they're too old for us to care or too minor. All those characters are gay. So how can I be homophobic? I cancel people, yeah. If someone says something that I interpret as hateful, then they must face extreme consequences. I'm just like, okay, boomer. I'm actually on the right side of history, yeah? Check your privilege, you know? I was also cancelled for so-called transphobia. But my accusers forget there is in fact a trans character in my books. Leslie the Centaur was trans. Mid-transition from a man to a chair. Whore, sorry. I get those mixed up. Uh, anyway, she's got very big hooves. Negative stereotypes are literal violence. I am literally being physically attacked when I read them. I am literally being beaten to a pulp, writhing on the floor, gasping for air, spitting blood, when I read inaccurate tweets. So yeah, I'm gonna defend myself. Self-defense is a human right. I was also cancelled for supposedly being Islamophobic, but my accusers forget there is in fact a very lovable Muslim character in my books. Osama, the wizard, who flew his broomstick into the Wizarding World Trade Centre. Just be better, guys. Be better. If someone says something that suggests a lack of understanding for a minority group, the best way to educate them is with very aggressive threats of violence and or death. But a painful death. I've received a lot of threats, abusive messages. I've had my address posted online, people loitering outside the gates. Luckily, my castle's protected by spectral security owls, but I feel very intimidated nevertheless. Maybe I've said something that's not politically correct, I don't know, but does it warrant this? I'm scared. There are people who have threatened to kill me at my gates just because I sent a tweet. Be kind, guys. Be kind. Like me. This is Rachel. She was once a high-flying manager at a company that made luxury corkscrews, but then everything changed. What happened, Rach? Well, um, in my line of work, you do make enemies, and uh, some people who had a problem with me, they searched my Twitter account, they took something out of context, showed it to my employer, and before I even had a chance to explain myself, I had been fired uh, for supposed homophobia. It is a very sad day indeed when a woman loses her livelihood because of one homophobic tweet. Oh, no, it wasn't homophobic. Uh, I've had a look at the tweet myself and I've got to say, at first glance, it could seem slightly homophobic. It wasn't homophobic. You wrote, I hate f they disgust me, they should not exist. Um, if you look at the conversation, you'll see we were talking about chip shops. And I said, I don't like f Whoa, whoa, don't say it again. I'm talking about the food. We were talking about meatballs. It had nothing to do with gay people. Uh, well, I've only got this one screenshot of the tweet, so I've no way of verifying that. I was talking about the meatballs and it was taken out of context. Look, it's taken me four years to finally get back on my feet. I found a company that believes in me and I'm finally getting my life back on track. Contacting your employer to get you fired is Really sickening behaviour, honestly, Reg. I literally feel sick just thinking about the type of person who would do that. I can only imagine how you feel. Also sick, probably. Oh, 
I guess. Probably even more sick than I feel, and I feel incredibly sick. But neither of us will be sick, because that is what the councillors want. Uh, the Libtards try to cancel me all the time, but I got something called freedom of speech. I can say what I want. Hang on. That child is f***ing ugly. <laughs> what a gross little gremlin. Who's the dad? Shrek or Jabba the Earth? Absolute minger. <laughs> How dare you? What is wrong with you? Whoa, calm down. F***ing snowflake over here. Jesus, can't say anything these days. I've got freedom of speech, yeah? So on you go. See what I mean? Trying to silence me all of the time, but I won't. Hold on. Why the f*** are you walking so slowly? Speed it up. You and your obese dog are jamming up the pavement. You want me to come over there and snap that walking stick? I'll throw it for your dog if you like, with any luck I'll pull you both into the canal. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can't stand blind people. Hey, what's your problem? That's so offensive. Yeah? Just because you're offended don't mean to say you're right. I'm allowed to say what I want, and you just have to shut up and listen. It's freedom of speech. Do you regret the tweet? Not at all, because it was completely innocent. And, you know, most people have been online for years, and if you scroll back far enough, there'll be something you can take out of context and use against them. It could happen to anyone. Well, not to anyone. I think you've got to be a bit smart about what you post online. Yeah, a lot of people have said that to me. But I think that's because it's, it's hard to understand if it hasn't happened to you. So, uh, as an exercise, and to make my point, I've been through some of the things that you've posted online over the years. Well, I, I don't even have social media. You have posted videos on YouTube, and I think there's plenty out there that could be taken out of context and get you cancelled. Oh, well, hold on. So, in 2014... 2014, that's ages ago. 2014, you said this to a disabled person. There was a lot of litter picking at the weekend. Oh, how do you do litter picking from your wheelchair? Oh, you're in your carer, does it? You just go along. No, well, that's fine. It's, it's the fault that counts. No, I use a stick to pick it up. Oh, hold on. I think I've got you wrong. I was thinking you were a sympathy disabled, but you're actually an inspiration one, like Paralympics. Right. Well, I'm sorry. I should have told you what category of disabled person I'm in. He should have done. I was paying him a compliment. Disablest. And you also said this to a graffiti artist. Graffiti. Some people say that's expression. Is it, though? Well, I see it. Names and swear words. Is that expression, or is it just you showing off that you finally learned to spell a four-letter word? I stand by that. Graffiti is awful. Could be seen as classist snobbery, especially as you also called him a chav. During a radio interview in 2016, you said this about poor people. We all have the same 24 hours. Yeah, I've worked my absolute ass off to get to where I am today. Being poor is usually down to laziness. Technically, what I'm saying is correct. We all have 24 hours in a day. Uh, unless you're going on a flight across time zones, then you might get a few extra hours, I suppose. But generally, poor people cannot afford to live like that, so they only get 24. None of this would get me cancelled at all. Okay, well there was one other video I found, and I think this really does go to show that we've all done things in our past that we regret. But you know, should that thing be used to turn our entire lives upside down? I actually am very careful about what I say, and I stand by every decision I've ever made. Okay, so I found this from searching your name on Instagram. It's helmet footage from a cyclist. A cyclist? Whoa, 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 Jesus! Why don't you look where you're going? You just stepped out in front of me. Why don't you watch where you're going? You've crushed my cream horns. Well, look before you step into the street, idiot. You're the idiot. Don't you know how to drive a car, pal? Well, you're lucky I wasn't driving a car, because otherwise it wouldn't just be your cream horns that got crushed. Uh, wouldn't just be my cream. There's no just about my cream horns. Being crushed, you're liable, mate. Lucky I don't sue. Doubt you'd be able to afford it if you can't even afford a car. Well, I can afford a car. Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm not dull, are you? No, I'm a nurse, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought you were cycling like a woman. What, well, couldn't cut it as a doctor? Hmm? But you la-di-da, are we? Get a car. I've got a car! I've got a car, yeah? I've got one. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're a moron. I am Thomas Wrinkle Smooth. Who? Thomas Wrinklesmooth. Who's Thomas Wrinklesmooth? Me. So watch it, yeah? Bloody cyclist. Whoa! Oh, mind out. Christ! My cream horns! Well, they're ruined. 
you might as well have them now. Not this one, obviously, but help yourself to those. <sighs> You're right, mate. He's fine. I've said he can have the cream horns. You're not supposed to give them money because they spend it on drugs. You enjoy those, mate. The cream horns are on me. Literally, thanks to this prick. Get out of here. You are such a dickhead. I'm posting this online. What, what do you mean? Putting what online? You're on film, you ass. I'm on. I've got a helmet camera on. No, no, you can't film people without permission. Give me that cap. Whoa! Oh! Why have you moved over here? I'm sick of tramps wriggling around the pavement like worms. Get off the street! Oh. All my cream horns. Gone. So, uh, you don't come out too great in that video. And I think, you know, if you were a bigger celebrity, that is something people could use to get you cancelled. Uh, and that's, that's on Instagram? Yes, not too many views. It is quite a small account, but it just goes to show it's not hard to find things that can be used to cancel you. People just need to search, you know, keywords and just take something out of context. I'm sorry to bring these videos up, but, you know, hopefully it shows you now that we're all in the same boat. So those videos, you've got to understand, you've taken them totally out of context. Yes, exactly. I don't hate poor people or tramps or even some cyclists. No, but it's when you see these things isolated. So we're not in the same boat, actually, because I don't hold those negative views, whereas you do hate gay people. What? No, I said that tweet was about... About the meatballs, yes, but... What about this tweet I've just found? I searched your Twitter feed for keywords, as you said, and oh look, I can't stand poofs. I would never allow one into my home. They are repulsive. I don't even remember tweeting that. So, sadly, it turns out you are homophobic after all. I've already sent an email to your employer with a screenshot of the offensive tweet as well as a summary of your homophobic past. <laughs> are they going to feel comfortable employing a repeat offending homophobe? I very much doubt it. But you're just proving my point. You're taking this out of context. I'm not homophobic. And I'm afraid we're going to have to blur your face and remove you from set in order to distance you and your horrible views from this programme. Sorry, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Please, no, I just... I've just got back on my feet! No! No! This this is so wrong! Rachel Phillips' views are not remotely endorsed by myself or the actual truth. Uh, and if you do want to challenge her hateful opinions, she lives at 24 Abingdon Avenue, North London, so please do let her know your thoughts. You're Since that interview, it has come to light that Miss Phillips' tweet was in fact referring to the furniture item poofs and was not homophobic. It was a conversation about footstools that was taken out of context. Nevertheless, Miss Phillips has been fired from her job just to err on the side of caution, and to be fair, if she's getting accused of homophobia this often, there's probably something wrong. No smoke without fire. Join me next time when I'll be doing things like this. One of my videos was removed from YouTube and you are responsible. And please do remember to like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> comment if you want, but uh, not, not any stupid comments, all right? O only comment if you're praising this documentary about free speech. I don't want to see anyone disagreeing with me. I actually stand against silencing, thanks, so don't bother. Seriously, I, I will get those comments removed.